now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Well, yesterday certainly was a gloomy and wet one. Some areas got over two inches of rainfall. Take a look at it. Forestville, Pottawatomie State Park. A lot of locations up in northern Door County with the highest totals, but even we'll pack an inch and a quarter and Wrightstown at 1.1 inches. In Green Bay, we picked up uh, just under an inch of rain, but now that brings a monthly total to uh, over three and a half inches. We're close to seven tenths above average. The wettest June on record was back in 1990 with nearly 10.3 inches of rainfall. Started off with a little sunshine in the mid morning hours, but then those cumulus clouds started rolling in here and with it came some brief and heavy downpours at times and you see that wetting the tower cam. But now we're breaking out into some sunshine after this band of precipitation has been moving down to the south with some clearing skies expected for the rest of the evening and going into the overnight. So let's take a closer look with a few of these last remaining showers near Princeton, Montello, between Fond du Lac and Campbellsport. This uh, cell towards Campbellsport has a couple lightning strikes with it and then also just moving offshore by Sheboygan County as well. So still a couple more hours to the south and maybe a few light sprinkles off into the north woods, but this is all going to come to an end later on this evening as this cold front is moving through. Eventually we'll have some dry weather on Thursday, but tomorrow we still have a slight chance of a pop up shower storm in the afternoon. Once again, same thing like what we're dealing with for today. Also a little head up news. We do have our fourth tropical system of the Atlantic hurricane season for tropical storm Dolly 45 mile per hour sustained winds, but it is going to weaken as it gets into some cooler and less uh, comfortable conditions for tropical development. As for us, as we go into the tonight, mostly clear skies start to rebound and we see lots of stars out there as we wake up tomorrow, a mix of sun and clouds, but then as we get into the afternoon, a few additional light rain showers and perhaps a few pockets of thunderstorms will develop once again, but then this will dry out as we get into Thursday. So right now temperatures are holding on just below 70 degrees. It has cooled off a little bit after those showers came through into the Green Bay area, but still 72 in Shano. We've got 70 in Wapaka, 69 in Kiwani, 69 also in Pembine. Winds are coming in out of the north and northwest, a little breezy at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. We'll cool down to 53 tonight, so it will be a cool evening. Winds out of the northwest, just light, 5 miles per hour. Tomorrow we'll climb up to a high of 75. A few additional showers and storms are expected. Winds out of the west at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now we'll get up to close near 80 degrees on Thursday with partly cloudy skies, lower 80s on Friday with a return of showers and storms, and it looks like we get into the mid 80s as we get into the weekend, but it looks like now mid 80s with some drier weather from Sunday into Monday and Tuesday, and that's a look at your seven day forecast. It's been pretty soggy out here. It's nice to see some days without rain in them in that forecast. Thanks, Gino.